Okay, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and the recent crash in the price. So before I get into this video, guys, if you enjoy my content, please give me a, a, a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from me. So what recently what happened with Bitcoin is, if you guys have been checking out the latest charts, uh, Bitcoin, the price actually crashed below uh, $50,000. It was about $49,000 for a little bit, and then it quickly um, basically went back up and that was basically a morning dip buy so this happened right before the stock markets opened at around 9 30 and this was actually a nice buying opportunity so I didn't pick some up at the absolute bottom but I bought some at around fifty thousand dollars simply because I still believe Bitcoin is going to 500k uh, I still believe it's going to half a million dollars in the future and if I can get it at a much cheaper price I just think that's you know that's just a better deal for me in general and the second reason is is that simply um, I think there was some panic selling so there was a lot of rumors going around that um, Elon Musk had sold his Bitcoin for a profit and I don't think that's true I think Tesla adding Bitcoin to the balance sheet is kind of a, a semi-permanent thing and the fact that they're going to be accepting Bitcoin for cars why would they dump all of their Bitcoin they're going to be stacking Bitcoin as well as a great um, a basically hedge against the US dollar so if you guys saw the previous video that I recorded I talked about Bitcoin going to five hundred thousand dollars uh, simply because they're going to continue printing more US dollars so more and more people are going to wise up and realize that you know uh, obviously something that is going to be printed in infinite supply that is eventually going to zero it would make sense to have your money uh, not all of your money of course because you have to pay your rent and bills and things like that you pay your employees if you're a corporation but um, you know you would definitely want to have some of that money sitting in something that is anti-inflationary -infl you know something that is can't be printed or distributed without a finite supply so that's exactly where bitcoin comes in and i'm just taking a look at the recent price it looks like it's recovered quite nicely so that was kind of a dip buying opportunity that might be one of the last times that we actually see it below fifty thousand, seeing that so many people rushed in to kind of lift that price back up and we're going to talk a lot about more about bitcoin in the in terms of uh you know where it's going to be going in the short term but i just wanted to kind of publish this quick video to you guys to realize that exactly what i'm doing and kind of share it to you what i did so when i saw the price going down i actually thought about it for a second to kind of transfer my money into usd coin and just wait and see but then i remembered the podcast i li listened from michael saylor he was kind of the ceo on wall street to actually put um bitcoin on the treasury um on his balance sheet and what he basically said was uh, never sell your bitcoin and that's simply because you know bitcoin has been going up every single day it's something ridiculous i'm not exactly the sure number but i'm definitely going to uh, fact check it but bitcoin's been going up like 10 or 11 dollars every single day ever since it's it was introduced so you know yes in the short run there might be ebbs and flows but over the long run bitcoin is going to continue going higher so you know to panic sell your bitcoin i don't think it's a great strategy i think it's it's a you know much smarter to kind of think long term with it obviously there are some people that trade it but I know most of you guys watching Bitcoin you have jobs you have families you have other obligations you don't have time to sit in front of a, a computer all day and watch the Bitcoin price so what I would say is for what I'm personally doing is I'm buying Bitcoin every day and for days that are on dips I'm trying to get it at the lowest point so I didn't quite get it at the lowest point today but the good thing is is that I did buy it and I have stayed consistent now so I've been buying Bitcoin regularly probably ever since last August but I've really picked it up to a daily thing because I really want to stack those stats. And that's something else that I'm going to talk about in this video before I close it. So basically, uh, one Bitcoin is worth 100 million Satoshis, right? Or Sats for a nickname. So basically what you want to do is, is my person, you know, obviously if you buy one Bitcoin at a time, it's like $53,000 right now. It's pretty expensive. But what you can do is you can stack sats. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to accumulate more sats every single day as I work my way up to earning and, and, and owning more Bitcoin. And I know, it, you know, maybe if you're buying a little bit a day or, or, or every paycheck or every month, it doesn't sound like a lot, but a little bit of money that's consistently invested and consistently put into Bitcoin over time can turn into a substantial amount of Satoshis. So even if you can't afford just one Bitcoin, you can always get a Satoshi, some Satoshis. So one Bitcoin's worth 100 million Satoshis. So let's say you have 10% of one Bitcoin, you have 10 million Satoshis. So like I said, guys, you know, it's, it's really important, I think, to kind of, if you can't afford one coin, it's really important to kind of build your way up slowly. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm simply building my way up slowly as I as to get more and more Bitcoin. And I'd be really happy to share you guys on my share uh, my journey with you guys on how I work my way up to, to getting more cryptocurrency and learning more about DeFi and just all of this new stuff, because I believe this is the future of money. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the government's going to continue to print more and more fiat money in the future, which means we're going to have to find D, you know, 
anti-inflation deflationary assets to safeguard our wealth guys you know some of you guys out there you've been working or you're in school and things like that you've been putting a lot of effort and a lot of time into building up your career it really doesn't make sense to, to basically you know dilute your your spending power by having all of your money in currency because currency is going to go to its uh, true value which is zero so obviously a lot of people say Bitcoin is worth zero but since it has a finite supply there's always going to be a buyer of something with a finite supply uh, you can think of it as like a limited edition sports card right uh, let's say you guys you guys are basketball fans you know about LeBron James if there's a LeBron James rookie card and there's only a thousand of them in the world It'll never be worth zero. You'll never be able to take something that has a finite supply and, and, and say it's worth nothing. But the thing about the dollar is that the dollar is an infinite supply. It's not backed by anything. So that true value of that is zero. Just like uh, we can take a look at something in infinite supply like grass. I mean, no one buys grass. Does anyone, is there a value for grass like the grass that you see outside? Like, no. It'd be crazy if I went out and, you know, cut grass and then put it in a bag and tried to sell it. You know, no one would buy it from you because it's an infinite supply. So things that are finite are going to have more value. And that's exactly why I think Bitcoin's a great long-term investment, guys. So I would say the recent crash, uh, it was a good idea not to panic sell. I just simply bought more. And uh, that's about it, guys. So I just wanted to guys recap you guys what I've been doing, document my journey, um, you know, as a Bitcoin a Bitcoin stacker and stack my stats. And I hope you guys are, are doing well and doing the same. So that's it until next time, guys. If you enjoyed my video, please smash the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on cryptocurrency. I'm also going to be making some more videos, some gaming videos, some other things. So just stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I hope you enjoy my content. So that's it until next time, guys. Take care.